Hey everybody, I'm Mr. MathBlog here. Hope you guys are doing well. And this is uh, Unit uh, Cubes and Solid Figures. This is a pretty fast, easy lesson right here. So this is our sixth lesson in this chapter. And then don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. There's our common course strand for our teachers. And so our essential question is, what is a unit cube and how can we use it to build a solid figure? Well, what is a unit cube? Okay, so let's talk about that. So a unit cube is just a cube that has length, width, and height of one unit right here. So this is one, this is one, this is one. So these units could be in centimeters or in feet or or meters or or whatever inches so they'll probably see some of those so um, uh, in the next lesson a lot you guys so here's one face of a cube right here and one edge right here so this face is this square on top right here but there's a square in the front there's a square on the side on the side over here on the bottom and in the back right here and then here's an edge it's where the faces uh, meet right there it's that little line segment right there so uh, a cube has how many square faces that are congruent okay you got a top and a bottom there's two you got a left and a right is two more and then you got a front and a back there's two more so there's six square faces how many edges okay so here's an edge in fact the top has four edges because it's a square same with the bottom there's four more because it's a square so there's four and four is eight and then you got four of these downspouts right here that's going to give us another four so there's 12 edges right there all right we can build three-dimensional figures using uh, these cubes right here. So here are some solids that have six uh, cubic units right here. Can you see those six right there? This one's, uh, here's six more arranged in a different way right there. Here's another way to arrange uh, six cubes, okay? So those are just some examples. There's other ways. Here's some solids that have eight cubic units, okay? Can you see those eight right there? There's four plus four is eight, okay? This one's kind of harder to see. You have to use your imagination. There's a hidden one in the back. It's underneath right here. So here's one, two, three, four on this front uh, piece right here. And then there's going to be four more for that back piece. Four and four is eight. Here's another way. Here's four in the front and then four in the back so that's like a cube but it's a two by two cube so so there's going to be uh, eight uh, unit cubes on that one okay so let's count the number of cubes using uh, to build each solid figure right here okay so here's one two three four five so there's five here plus 5 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 5 more is 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. There's four rows of 5, okay? Now this is the same as this, except it has two of them. So this is going to be 20 times 2, okay? Because it's stacked twice, so 20 times 2 is 40, okay? This is the same figure as this, except there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be 20 times 5. I know 2 times 5 is, is 10, so 20 times 5 is 10 with a 0, so it's 100 right there. All right, this guy right here, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, and then uh, let's go down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this front face is 25 right here, okay, and then there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's five rows of 25s right there. So if we multiply 25 times 5, Think of money, you guys. If you had four quarters, four quarters is a dollar, so 25 times four is 100. So 25 times five is one more 25, so it's 125 right there, okay? All right, so, and these are always represented in cube units. You'll see why we represent them in cube units, especially in the next lesson when we talk about volume, you guys. So, so these are always represented as cube units. All right, so count the number of cubes used to build each solid figure, okay? So here is one, two, three, four, five, Five, six. So there's six cube units in that one. Okay, here is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven in that one right there. How about this one? One, two, three, four, five. There's five in that one right there. Okay, how about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I count nine on that one right there, okay? These are always in cube units right here, okay? All right, how about this guy right here? This one's a little harder to see. Can you see that there's nine in the front row right here? It's three by three. Can you see that three by three? 
So the front face right here has nine right here, okay? And there's three rows of this. So we're going to go for the middle face, there's going to be nine more for the middle face right there. And for the very back face, there's nine more. So if we add them all up, that's 27. And then in the next lesson, 11.7, section 11.7, we're going to learn that this times this times this equals 27 right here. So and there's 27 cubes in there, so it would be 27 cube units. Kind of looks like a Rubik's Cube. Have you seen a Rubik's Cube, you guys? I bet there's been a couple of you guys that have taken apart a Rubik's Cube and then put it back together. Well, in a Rubik's Cube, there's only 26 because the middle little piece is not a cube. It's the piece that holds it all together. But anyways, if you see something like that, there's going to be 27 cube units in that, okay? All right, how about this guy? Woo, this one's a little bit harder. Well, let's find the front piece right here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this front piece is six times six, okay? So that's that front face right there. And then how many faces are there? So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them. So we're going to take... Um, uh, six faces gives 36 times 6. And if you don't know what 36 times 6 is, you can think of 36 as 30 plus 6 and then use our good old friend distributive property. Okay, so 6 times 30, well, 6 times 3 is 18, so 6 times 30 is 180, and 6 times 6 is 36, so we can just add those together and get 216 cubic units. That's the same thing as 36 times 6 right here, okay? You get that many cubic units right there. All right, you guys, I hope that helped. Take care.